Scrotum. Hi guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing. Oh my goodness, I'm playing. I'm still playing. <laughs> Sorry, I was watching YouTube. Stop. Stop. Um, yeah. So let's start over. Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm going to be doing a haul video, and it's a ton of stuff. I actually tried to film it yesterday, but per usual. It didn't go well, so I'm gonna try it again. I'm filming on my new camera. I actually tried to film with it yesterday and I didn't realize the battery. It said it had two bars left, but then it went down to red and it was blinking, so I was like, you know what, let me charge it and I'll try again tomorrow. Okay, so let's get started. It's gonna be anything and everything in this haul. And I thought I would start with clothes. I did take everything out of the plastic. Yesterday, again, I was filming and I was just taking stuff out of plastic the entire time. So I'm gonna save you the grief. And I did that ahead of time. Um, not really, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, the first thing is for my sister. She got me this shirt from Forever 21 and it's just a oversized t-shirt. It says high fives and good vibes. And it looks like it's been worn or it has like that old look vintage look and i really like this i like to wear t-shirts i'm wearing a t-shirt now i that's pretty much my wardrobe is a hoodie a t-shirt and jeans or maybe some type of slacks or pants so i could see myself wearing this and i will wear this for it's so versatile for working out which i don't do uh <laughs> sleeping which i do a lot of or just every day um next since I'm speaking of hoodies, I am just such a messy person. I have a designate, designated hoodie now that I wear when I am cooking or eating because I just make a mess. I can't be bothered to reach for the apron that's like a hit, an arm's length away in the kitchen. So I just rather put my hoodie on and cook that way. I'm sure when the weather starts to get warmer, I'm gonna have to start wearing an apron and it's so silly it's right there I just can't be bothered um, so I've ruined many a uh, hoodie cooking and eating so I bought a couple more I am going to so whatever I take in or buy I am going to try to get rid of the same thing or another item in my um, closet clothes wise and so I got from Unico, these were on sale for $19.99 and they're quality hoodies. They're really nice material. Um, they're not the fleece line, so they're, they're just a regular hoodie. And for me, the arm length is important and the pocket size, I feel like, you know, it seems as I get older, I'm getting more and more particular about things. I guess maybe that's just life. Um, in my mind, when I was younger, I had thought the opposite. Like, you go more with the flow, but I'm finding, like, I'm not going that way. Uh, but, so this has nice length sleeve, a good size pocket, and, of course, a hoodie. And this one is, as you can tell, it's kind of like a light heathered look. So I got a blue. It's a hoodie, guys. And then I got a gray because my another reason that I got a couple more hoodies is because the J. Crew hoodies that hoodies that I have, the zippers are all broken or again stained. But the zipper just completely broke the other day, and I was like, "Tell me, is it worth to fix? I don't know. Could I fix it myself? I should probably look up on YouTube. If I'm sure this has come across uh, for other people." fixing a zipper um still did i mention those are from uniqlo i feel like i have i have mentioned that both from uniqlo um then these are my favorite like loungewear sleeping pants these are the ultra stretch pants and they go tapered at the bottom um love these if you see these i would get them again they have pockets and for me uh, sizing for Uniqlo, I usually tend to go more medium on the pants. The shirts I go large, but the medium, um, the pants I go uh, medium, and that runs from any type of pants that they have that are kind of loungewear pants. And actually, those hoodies were a size medium. I felt the large, um, the arms were too big, but the medium fit right. Uh, my sister got me these pants from Uniqlo, and these are small, so 
See, what I just said, the theory goes out the window. Most of the time, like 99% of the time, I am a size medium in pants. I just, I got, she got me both the small and the medium, and the small just fit right. I, the medium was just a little too big. Um, and these are lounge pants, but they are, as the name suggests, they are tapered at the bottom and they just feel, they look like you could pass them as work pants. So if you're looking for something comfortable uh, that doesn't look exactly like sweats, these are a good way to go. Now on to Old Navy. You guys know that is my favorite store if you've watched me. I would do a try on, but I don't know. I just, I haven't figured out a great setup for it. And I do want to do, um, going forward like with clothing hauls i do want to try to do try-ons i just tell me what to do i need help um so i got these jeans these are um like a faded stonewash kind of jeans and i didn't realize when i got them that these were they're they are called the rockstar super skinny high rise built in warm Hopefully you can read that. I'm not sure how far I have to go or how close I have to go. Eh? It's supposed to automatically zoom in. I don't know. Uh, I didn't realize that they had kind of a fleece lining, but this fleece lining is super thin, very soft, and I overheat a lot. So I'm thinking these will be for the extra cold days. If I didn't have pajama day at school tomorrow, I would wear these tomorrow because it's supposed to get really cold. But maybe Saturday I'll wear them because that's supposed to... We were, we were in the 40s and 50s. Now we're going to dip into like the 20s. And that always feels colder. But I love this style of jean, the rock star, and the high rise. That's all I get. <laughs> that's all I look for in pants now is high rise just because it goes over the muffin top you don't get that weird line and so i love this color too i was gonna try to get the they had a darker color but whenever they have these sales not everything is available and i'm kind of glad i didn't get that one because i didn't realize that this was warm or had the like fleece lining in it you gotta make sure you read i think i read and then i'm totally wrong okay next are a bunch of <laughs> bunch of t-shirts the first one, does there have to be a, I mean, you're probably like, does there have to be a story behind each item you have? I don't know, right? That's a haul, that's part of the haul. Um, so this is just a bunch of women's faces and I love it. And it says all together now. I just, it caught my attention and I've been looking for a shirt like this. Um, so I'm happy that Old Navy had it. Now. Yeah. This shirt might look familiar to some of you. This is a camel shirt that I got from them that I absolutely love. So I wanted a backup of it because I wear the other one so much. And this came in a set actually. And sometimes sets don't work out. You like the one item, but you don't like the other one. Well, this one, perfect. I love this strawberry t-shirt. I think it is so cute and I'm so so happy that this was a set together and um, I don't like v-neck shirts again particular I don't like v-neck shirts on me and I don't like white shirts or actually white clothing I guess I'm just a very messy person and this color is about the lightest color I'll go so glad that it worked out for me and then most recently i found um i was looking through i looked at that website maybe very frequently so i saw this and i had um a gift card and all that stuff you know how that goes this t-shirt i like that the flowers are coming out of the pockets and this is going to be a theme now because because the next shirt is the same and it says shoot for the stars and stars are shooting out of the pocket so cute Okay, another pair of jeans. Again, these are Rockstar Super Skinny High Rise Built in Sculpt. Now, their Built in Sculpt line, I have another pair that I love. They fit me perfectly. And most of these are petite sizing. I'm 5'3, so I get petite, and it's the perfect height for me. Um, the Built in Sculpt line, I really, really like it. It feels nice. It's a little bit of stretch, and 
I like this color a lot. So I highly recommend them. And this one, it says, so look, it has the Lycra in there. So that's probably where the stretch comes from. Okay, so I got those. And then, yep. You're probably like maybe you should get some other types of shirts and you're right i was thinking the same thing too um they look really good online but i don't know i'm gonna try it on obviously before i return it so i decided to get this button down i thought you know spring is coming warmer weather the more i look at it the more i like it when i first saw it i wasn't too sure i don't know i feel like this is something and this is no offense. Please do not take any offense. Like a middle-aged person, a woman would wear. I don't know. I feel like my older co-workers will wear this. So I'm thinking I will roll up the sleeves and do something with it. We'll see. Um, and then I I don't know about this one either. So this is another. I didn't even take it out of the package. This is another button-down shirt. Again, it looked really good online. But now I'm thinking about it. It looks like pajamas almost. I'll try it on before I return and now we're gonna get into kind of like the fun stuff I mean the clothes are fun but this is um a few random items from Costco I got the scotch bright lint roller self-explanatory but I have tried a several of those kinds of things though there's one that Amazon sold that I got with the red brush and you're just supposed to go like one way and then turn it and you go the same way or another way and it worked really well but the sides were coming out so I was like Ugh, I'm done with those I'm gonna try this now and hopefully the hair or lint will come off I have a dog I don't mind a little dog hair but when I'm wearing black and I'm going out I like to get some of it off it never comes completely off though uh, the other thing from Costco are these uh, gentle cleansing bars from Cetaphil and what's going on with this camera I don't know did I press up I feel like I pressed a button and it's not zooming or it's not focusing on the thing so sorry um, it does have a scent but it's a really light scent I'm trying to cut down on plastic. Meanwhile, this is wrapped in plastic. I don't understand that. I, I don't know why they put that in plastic. Um, but I am trying to reduce my plastic use. And this is one way that I'm trying to do it. By using bar soap. And next are a bunch of things from Amazon. This is HomeSense, which I went to that store for the first time. Uh, a couple weeks ago okay um uh, actually before the amazon and home sense my sister got me a few things these pilot juice up pens so they are uh jelly pens and she says they're really good and she got them for us to use in our planners and then these are i want to do this so i'm filming this on a thursday uh, tomorrow's Valentine's Day and I wanted to haul this because I want to wear these if I can get them out of here cute packaging right um, it's from a store called or she got it online Studio C designs and they're just uh, like the candy heart earrings it says be mine and too cute so I'm gonna wear those tomorrow Although we're not celebrating Valentine's Day, we are doing 100 days because pre-K has been in school for 100 days. And then I had been mentioning clotted cream and <laughs> she got this for me in the city. Uh, we, the clotted cream, all done. It was amazing. I looked up how to make it and it sounds like really, it sounds kind of complicated. So um, she got it for me at the store. And then this one is English Double Cream, which I have not opened yet. It says that once you open it, it only lasts for for um, five days. The clotted cream, it la it was finished before uh, the five days, but I think that's just a friendly estimate. And then it is cream though, so it won't last forever. Uh, now is Amazon. Let me just pull this stuff out. Sorry. I thought I was prepared, but I I was not prepared. 
let me get the the box here there's no friendly way to, there's no pretty way to do this so i'm just going to put it right here all right <laughs> Whoa. oh guys for those of you who have been watching me for a while thanks for sticking around um first related to the plastics um thing New York City passed, there's not going to be any more plastic bags, and so um, I wanted to be prepared for that. It's going to begin in March, so I got a bunch of reusable bags, and I want to, I opened one because I want to show you the size. So normally I feel like these are a bit smaller, but my goodness, this box is really in the way. Sorry, friends. Okay. Uh, so it's look at how big that is and it has a really cute print so this one is penguin there's a fox one I gave uh, my sister panda bears and flamingos and then Steve I have I made him take a uh, Scottish terriers or some type of terrier um, and these feel really nice water you can wash them easily Next are my absolute favorite socks. And they are the Gold Toe Casuals. And they look like this. One other thing that I didn't take out in plastic. Sorry about that. Um, but these are the blues and the grays. And then these are the browns. And there's blacks in there. And so, with like, like the hoodies, I wear my stuff until they just cannot be worn anymore. Socks are another one. I'll throw them away when they start slipping off my feet and have holes. So it was time and Amazon ha Amazon had them for a, an amazing price. Uh, normally I believe they sell for about 17. I got them for less than 10 bucks and they'll last me forever. Uh, Listerine. This one is my favorite. It's the Listerine Total Care Zero. Total, I said that right. Total Care Zero Alcohol. We're on teeth care or tooth care. My favorite uh, flossers. These are the Plackers Micro Mint. There are 150 in each bag, and there's four of them in here. I have them in the bathroom. I have them in my car. I have in my backpack. I have them in my room, my like office slash closet, just everywhere in my lunchbox. I cannot be without them. Food likes to get stuck in my teeth. I think it's because my teeth are really tightly close to each other. I don't know if that's a thing. I think that's a thing. I don't know. I just feel like I always get food. Peppers. Uh, cracked pepper always goes in my teeth. So it's just so annoying. Uh, next are these so I use poopery I think it's amazing better than Lysol I feel like when you use Lysol it just is Lysol and poop smell I just, um, so I am a big fan of poopery but I want to try something different and there was this company on here called mask this is another just toilet toilet spray and this one is coconut and lime it had really great reviews I'm going to be testing that out. <laughs> um, and then, I've never, I've always been intrigued. I've, I've seen the ads on Instagram for She Thinks, but I just scroll past it. I'm like, I'll always be a pad girl, but at work, a coworker was talking about it. Um, her daughter uses it and loves it, and I thought, you know what, before investing in the She Thinks, let me try another brand from Amazon. This one is... It got great reviews. Bam Body. And they're black. So it just looks like underwear. But it has like a thicker... Sorry, you can't really tell. But it's thicker down here. And I don't know for my heavy days if that's going to work. But definitely for my light days, I could see it working. And then last but not least from Amazon are these Amazon basic notebooks. I needed something for my grandmother to write down her blood sugar and blood pressure and I wanted it all in one place so I got her this book and they were selling it for three packs. I always need a notebook. Got that. 
And lastly, I'm gonna share with you my home scents haul. I went there for the first time a couple of weeks ago and I love that store. I don't know if it's because everything was looked brand new, but I just, it really spoke to me in there and me and my sister had a fun time walking around all the aisles. It's a bit higher end. Uh, the only thing is they don't have a food aisle and if you've ever been to TJ Maxx and Marshalls they have that section with like the olive oils and the sea salts and just odds and ends that you wouldn't find in a normal grocery store. That was the only thing that HomeSense was missing. Other than that I really like their stuff. A little higher end. Um, the stuff that I'm going to show you is not high end. I probably shouldn't have gotten these things but I just couldn't help myself. Um, this is the Prepara I Prep Mini Adjustable Phone Stand. Now the reason I got this is because when I come home I start cooking in the kitchen but my phone is needs to be recharged and I have to I I like to read recipes this way uh, or watch videos this way for whatever reason but I have to since I have to charge it I have to hold it like this because it won't stand like that very well. Now this you can charge it and use it upright at the same time so i'm going to test it out today hopefully it is what i think it is uh next for valentine's day i got these uh kitchen towels they're by the brand cabasa or nope i was thinking of kabasi cassaba kitchen towel set <laughs> isn't that so cute so i have a dog she's a shiba inu i have a fall version from this company and I just fell in love with this. It is so cute. I couldn't pass it up. Next, is, uh, my guilty pleasure. Um, I guess it can't be a guilty pleasure since I get them all the time. These are Happy Yummies Gourmet Gummies. I have had these before. So good. Then, talking about notebooks again. I got these marble with pastel notebooks. There were three in here. The pink I love, the blue I love, the green I love too, but I have a green book. And you know, I just, I really like notebooks and this is the size of notebook that I use to my write my grocery list, menu plan I could, I could menu plan in here, anything. I just like to have notebooks around. And then the last thing, we have a very, very, very tiny kitchen. It's We are thinking of remodeling the kitchen first because I'm in there so much and I just feel like I'm cooking like this. And my cutting board, um, the size that we have is very similar to this, is a cutting board. The size that we have is very similar to this, but it's plastic and it's kind of flimsy. So I wanted to upgrade to a harder cutting board. This is the Countercraft Bamboo Cutting Board. And it was, I think it was being sold for, actually, I don't know. It says compared 18, 12.99. I got it for 10 bucks. I thought for the weight and how it looks, I really liked it. So I got it and hopefully, um, I think it's going to be the perfect, uh, this is a perfect size to fit where I want it to go. I'm excited about it. The, the other wooden cutting board that we have is too small. The plastic one is too flimsy. And then we have one that's huge that won't fit on there. Um, yeah, so that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I thought I would end my videos if I remember to. And if I um, start watching new people on YouTube, like the current, my current channels that I've been watching non-stop and that doesn't mean that I just started watching them it just this idea came to me so I've been a fan of the Try Guys for a really long time while they were still at BuzzFeed now they have their own company and they're just so funny and relatable and that's just something that I've noticed about myself and my watching uh, I mean what I watch is I like to watch relatable people and I feel like all the all the channels that I'm going to mention are relatable so the Try Guys uh, next is Susie from Nail Career Education. She does nails. She's a nail tech for like, she's been a nail tech in Canada for like the last 30 years or so. And she's, her voice is so soothing and she makes you think you could really do nails. Because of her, I've been like um, trying out a bunch of stuff on my nails and uh, she's just seems really nice. And then the last channel uh, our group of friends and family slash friends 
Uh, they're called Adventure Archives and I'll probably put all the channels I list below. Uh, but they go hiking in national state parks, uh, forests, uh, even in Japan. And again, they are very relatable people. It's not something that I would do, but to watch just four normal guys go hiking overnight, do camping, cook on a fire, just is really fun to me. So I wanted to mention that. I hope you are doing well and I will talk to you soon. Bye.